What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a 1 tenth scale Thor statue by Iron Studios. Alright, and here we are taking a look at the package. As you guys can see here, we got a nice picture of the front of Thor. This is actually based on the Chris Hemsworth Thor from the movie, so... Really cool, a little bit different for me. I'm not usually into uh, the movie stuff all that much. And it's not that I don't like the movies, I really do. But usually the statues of the figures just don't do it for me. But this was pretty cool. And uh, I figured, why not? You know, I would actually, I wouldn't mind getting the rest of the um, the Avengers for uh, for the sta one tenth scale statues. But anyway, that's it for the packaging, guys. Alright, so here we are. We are now taking a look at the base. So pretty cool. It's got that, like... Uh, what shape is this? Would this be like a hexagon? No, it's not a hexagon. I, I forgot. Someone's gonna, and <laughs> someone's definitely gonna make fun of me in the in the comment section for that, and that's okay. So we got over here Marvel Thor Iron Studios. This is the Iron Studios exclusive, and as you guys can see here, there is a little switch. Um, it should be turning on, huh? You know what? I bet you this thing needs batteries. So I'll be right back with some batteries. Okay, so I actually don't have batteries in the house, so we're just going to continue on. So here is the look of the statue, and it looks pretty good, man. Definitely looks like Chris Hemsworth. He's got that cool uh, helmet on, nice body armor there. As you guys can see, he's missing one arm, and I'm going to get to that in a second. Look at the detail on it, the wrinkle on the pants. Really cool, man. The boots. Iron Studios, they love having that one little peg for the one-tenth scale. He's got that box in the back and that is for the cape so there it is nice detail on that cape too plugs right in or magnets in whatever word you want to use and then he slides right into the base come on you know it's a little bit of a wiggle so hold on one sec guys i'll, re I'll be right back all right, so there he is on the base, set up, really cool, and like I said, he's missing the one arm because he comes in two different styles. You can have this style here where he's holding the hammer, and it's a magnet, just magnets right in, and it holds it in, so really cool. I really like this one, so this is the one that I'm going to be going with, but of course, I mean, this isn't the only uh, arm that he has. Let's give it a quick turn so you guys can get a good look at that. See, I really like the look of this. He's holding the hammer very, like, powerful-like. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Definitely like this one. So this will be what I am going with. But, like I said, this isn't the only one. He also has a different style. It's this one, which... I mean, it's kind of cool. I'm, I'm personally not a huge fan of it. But what it is, is him... It's supposed to give you the illusion of him spinning the hammer. So, you know... Not my... Like I said, not my cup of tea. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I personally wouldn't pick this one, but I could understand if you did. All right, guys, as you guys can see here, the background changed. Um, I went out, you know, this is a few days between that beginning part. I went out, got some batteries, put it into the base, and I, as you guys can see, I changed the background a little bit. So I'm going to just once again show you a quick turn of the statue. This is how I'm going to have him positioned with the hammer in uh, the, his arm, but not spinning it. And I'm going to try to show you guys a close-up of that base with the, the battery actually put in. It's like one of those watch batteries, so I didn't have any around. So, you know, it had been a few days since I filmed that uh, first half of this video. Then I finally had the opportunity to go to the store, pick it up, and, um, you know, came here, put it in, and actually was able to film this second part of this video. But I wanted to share it with you guys. It's pretty cool. The light's up, you know, nothing, nothing groundbreaking or anything like that, but still pretty awesome. And, um... Like I said, this is the one tenth scale Thor statue. Um, it's not perfect. I had a little bit of trouble with the spinning hand, like it kept falling out. So that's another reason why I didn't, you know, I'm not picking that one. But it worked out for me anyway, because I like this look better anyway. So definitely a win for me, but it definitely is a problem if you were hoping, you know, if you had bought this piece and you were hoping for the... Uh, the spinning hand. Um, I mean, it's not to say that everybody's statue is going to be like that, but I know with me, I had a lot of issues with it where it kept falling. So, but other than that, love this piece. It, I think it looks great, but I would like to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later, guys.